everyone welcome back it's Robin whoops sorry didn't mean to hit the camera uh, <clears throat> I'm going to share with you this is my third time trying this but I'm going to share with you the baby album that I did um, for my nephew I'm going to be a great aunt this year I'm so excited I think I would mentioned this in my um, previous videos where I was doing uh, the diaper cakes and all that was for someone else but um, this is for my great nephew who will I think he's going to arrive in April and I'm so excited so um, I used a mixture of um, different papers in this album from all different kinds of different collections and just used what I had so I'll show you um, as we go some of the things that I used or tell you the products where they came from so for starters the um, the album is seven inches by five and a fourth inches and the binding is two and a half inches here on the binding I attached a little anchor a little wooden anchor that I had bought at Michaels in the dollar spot a couple of years ago um, the paper that I used on the side as well as on the back hopefully you can see this is uh, isn't from a collection I had bought a ton of these uh, from I believe it was Big Lots it's color block or color box sorry color box paper and I used that and then I also used this other one that I had bought in a bundle um, like this to cut out the little baby shoes with the anchors on it of course I went with the nautical theme um, this I just jumped off of this and went with the nautical theme for it so <clears throat> I cut out the little baby shoes right here and popped them up on some uh, foam and then I did the same thing I matted double matted the little baby embellishment here and this these embellishments that's throughout this album I used almost the entire package of one of these and this is something that I found at Tuesday morning it's from canvas core um, so I just backed it matted it again popped it up on some foam and placed it there and then these little um, letters right here that's on the plastic circles I've had those for years and they're like this um, just like this and they're just little plastic um, circles that have holes in them to where you could string them up on something or use them on a charm bracelet or whatever you like but it reminded me of uh, the way that the hospitals used to put a bracelet around the baby's wrist to identify who's it belonged to so I've added that on here and then uh, the ribbon is something that I just had in my stash it's actually a navy blue ribbon and then a baby blue polka dot that I um, put together to where it would be more babyish so you just open it up like so and so here's a disclosure to you this is a little oops I wanted to use magnet closures here but the magnets that I put down I didn't realize at the time that they weren't the ones that I normally use to close my mini albums these were the ones I put ones in here that I normally use inside my album so I had to cover that little oops up and I you know every mistake you can embellish it and make it better so um, I just covered it up with some pattern paper here and then I used some wax seals all of these little wax seals that you'll see throughout this album have little um, I don't know if you can see that or not but they have little anchors embedded in them these are some that I found from uh, Tuesday morning as well for $1.49 their paper house and I love them I love them so much that I had found some with butterflies on it as well and in my color well one of my colors anyway so um, we'll just go ahead and get started I'm going to try to rush rush through this a little bit but let you still see what I've done 
So, uh, I created a pocket here in the front using part of an embellishment, the same embellishment pack. And then just added some little red eyelets on either side there. And then I used an embossing folder that had anchors and little ship's wheels on it. And this was just a piece of scrap from where I'd used it on further into the album that I placed on here in front of some blue cardstock. So this is one of the tags from the embellishment kit that I used and I'll just put a little um, eyelid in there and I think that I'm going to put a little bit of baker's twine or something in that as well. And then there are our three photo mats here and then you can place a photo here as well. Of course you can use front and back on both of those. So. I didn't count this time how many pictures will fit in this album. I should have, but I apologize. I did not do that. So, on this page here, it's just a little pocket page, and this is turned down to look like a little uh, shirt, a little baby boy shirt. I used two more of the wax seals um, to act as buttons. And then this little anchor is just a card from a Project Life set that uh, I had found it, I believe, at Tuesday morning as well. Then there's a photo tag that pulls out here. But you can put a photo on front and back. And then we flip it over and we have this little sticker here that I had bought in a sticker pack. Um, and then I added a little wooden sailboat here and then some flat back pearls to look at like bubbles. There are two photo tags here where mom can use front and back for pictures and then I put some little um, tabs on there, some pull tabs on there and then some more of the little wax seals. I uh, also uh, used a border punch down here that are in, like bubbles and then you can put a photo here I'm going to move this. Put a photo here. And then I have a little tuck spot here in this corner and another piece from the embellishment pack. And then two more photo cards. And on this one, this is another uh, piece from the uh, embellishment pack. And I used it like a belly band so you can tuck the picture in behind here as well as in behind here. And have the little embellishments popping out from the cute baby's face. So that closes up. And then on this side, um, this is just another piece from the embellishment pack. And as you can see, you can tuck a picture in behind there and then for a photo. Open it up and you have another photo mat. These corners are just some scraps that I use from this paper over here when I cut it. This is another little sticker that came with the um, bathtub. And then <clears throat> this border here is one that I had bought in the D stash a couple of years ago. I just cut it down to where it would fit my page. And then, then another little uh, sailboat woody. Some more flat back pearls to decorate the little bunting. And a pendant punch from, or pennant punch rather from Stampin' Up and then just a little piece of cardstock that had an anchor on it. Now this idea right here came from Laura from following the paper trail from many, many years ago. These little sweet faces and the little hair. Um, I'd seen her do it years ago. But it's another photo mat that um, Mom can put pictures on. So I'm going to tuck that back down in there. Then I'll flip it over and this is something that I cut out of the paper since I didn't have embellishments to exactly to match exactly to the paper. I just cut it out of some of the paper I had and then backed it with some red cardstock and put a magnet there to where it would hold it down. And you can do some journaling here and here and put a photo of the baby there. Then this flips up. And two more spots for photos. On this side, um, 
I just cut out the Sweet Dreams again and popped it up on some foam, some craft foam, um, to where it would be up and look more like an embellishment. And I put a little bit of Wink Stello around it for a little bit of shimmer. You probably can't see that, but I did. So this part has a magnet in it, so it flips up this way and then down so where you have three different spots to put photos of the baby. And then in the top here, it's another pocket that you can pull out for more photos. Just use your round scallop punch and then a smaller scallop punch and then a piece from the embellishment pack. So then on this page, I do not remember who I saw do this years ago, but I went ahead and cut out a little onesie and used that embossing folder that has the anchors and the ship's wheels that I was telling you about early, earlier, and then I just went over it with a little bit of white ink just to make it pop a little. These little bows I found... Um, I believe it, they came from Michael's in a pack that have little anchors on them. And so I popped that on there because it, just, it, it just looks so cute. And then this has a magnet in it as well. And it reveals the diaper. And then you can pull out the little um, onesie itself to add a picture there as well. And this is from the embellishment pack. So then this flips up like so and um, this is another little cutout that I did from the paper and backed it with some heavy cardstock to give it some body and um, then these are from a, um, a different embellishment pack that I found at Tuesday morning as well they're just little cardstock things so then I have a couple of more uh, photo tabs, photo mats here, and then a couple more journaling cards. So I'll tuck those back down in there, like that. And then here's another photo mat, and I just used some of my scraps to make photo corners. And another place to put a photo, um, another little wooden anchor. And some more of that paper that I just backed with red cardstock. Um, more of the scraps from where I had done this. And then another little kiddo with a sweet little face. So I'll get that tucked back down in there. Then on this page, this is from Laura um, as well. And it's the little baby crib. Um, I used for my wheel centers, I used these brads, and they are by, well, I do not know, they're extremely old. I bought them from the scrapbook superstore down in Pigeon Forge <clears throat> years ago. Um, this is just a scrap of paper that I used to make a little quilt, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I added several different tags. For photos that she can put photos front and back on and the little flowers with the ribbon on it that's something that I've had in my stash for many years and they're brads and the the ribbon and the flower actually are all attached together so finally found a use for those and I think they're so stinking cute so again this flips up to reveal two more places for photos and then over here um, is another place for photos, and that's actually where these tags go in at. Um, it's right there. It's just a little tuck spot for some journaling. And then it opens up in another place for a photo and another piece of the chipboard embellishment that has been backed with uh, red cardstock, and I just trimmed around it and then popped it up on some foam as well and we have another little shirt here um, these little corners are actually fabric and 
they, I've had them in my stash forever. They, they're these uh, woven corners and they're self-adhesive. So I just added those on there and then put a little um, brad, red, or not brad, eyelet, I apologize, eyelet in there. And then we have another little photo mat here as well. Um, of course, you can put a photo front and back, and I just used a scallop punch and then a round, a circle punch, then a smaller circle punch, and then another one of those wax seals. And so then on the last page, this is something else from Laura that I saw that she did. I just used some lettering from Creative Memories. This is from the embellishment packet here. That I was, I've been using throughout and I thought that it looked like the um, ounces that's on an old back in the day they used to be on the old baby bottles I don't know they may still be like that I have no idea but anyway I did that for some journaling then it pulls out for another photo frame uh, to put a picture of the baby on the bottle and then that flips up and we have another tuck spot here with a little anchor from the embellishment pack and then three more photo tags that I'll just tuck back it down in there like that and then this is from just another paper pad Now I used um, this is summer sun from fancy pants I just used that piece right there um, with the anchors on it. I also used throughout the album, I used this paper pack, um, just random ones throughout here. This is really, really old. It's from Making Memories. And then I also used um, a couple of the sheets from American Crafts, My Baby. And I believe that's where um, the cardstock uh, where, where is that? <laughs> I can't find them now. The cardstock ones. Where it said wee little one like this. These. I believe that that was part of this, but I'm not positive. Um, let's see. So, we did that page. Okay. And we did that page. And we did that page. <laughs> so then on the back, on the back cover, there's another pocket here and then another piece from the embellishment pack. I just backed it with a piece of heavy cardstock. That way it gave it some more stability and would hold up better. And then we have three more mats here as well where mom can put a picture on the front and the back of each one. I only had that little piece left of that one piece of the anchor paper. And then these are just a couple of more little tags that was in the embellishment packet as well. So that is it. Um, I wanted to share this with you all because I need to get it in the mail and get it shipped out to my nephew who is expecting his first son in April. So I want to get that to him along with everything else that I have uh, bought for him but I wanted to share it with you guys first so I hope that you enjoyed it I um, hope that it inspired some of you or gave you some of you some ideas I'm hoping to do some tutorials on mini albums um, soon I, I don't know when but soon and uh, you'll be the first to know <laughs> thanks to all my old subscribers thank you so much to the new subscribers and welcome um, I am going to do better or hopefully do better to try to get more uh, um, videos on here. I can't think. Sorry. So, hope everyone's having a good day. Thanks so much for watching. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye.